Well, welcome back people. The time has come. I've been using the cheapo little tools, the braze tip, the braze carbide tip tools. The, they're pretty generic, but I must admit, using this tool post and those tools gave me a pretty nice finish. So, I don't really have anything bad to say about this actual contraption. You could use that. Like, getting the lathe, there's, you really don't have to upgrade it. But, yeah, for ease of use, let's get to it. Install the quick change tool post that we have over here. Should make life a little bit easier, unless this ends up not being easy, of course. But, we'll give it the best shot. Okay, after raiding about 40 different tools and bits of magnets... All you got to do is put your finger in and pull it out with your hands, like so. Don't feel clever right now. Right, we need to get this off, so we'll have to find two bolts to put on here, jam them together to get it back out again. Let's get on to that. There's also a little spring in here, so you want to take that for safekeeping. Keep it good. This is it doesn't get used whatsoever in this bit, so let's just keep that aside in case we need to revert it back. And let's find us some bolts. Okay, I meant nuts. I'm Scottish, leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, so we've got one here that doesn't seem to be a great fit, but we'll shove it on there anyway. And we've got a nylon nut here that we can follow on after it. Pull them back out. Of course, find the cheapest nut breaker you can find in your whole toolkit. Now they're together. Go from that side. Right, there's one. There's two. Right, they're jam nutted together. Now it should be as simple as just cracking it out. Almost easy enough to do it by hand. Voila, we're out. Now, find the right Allen key, check this big beauty, see if it fits. Fits like a charm. So I think what I'll do is oil up the threads a little bit just so it doesn't get seized down there. And then we'll get the stuff set up. Found it. It's quite a chunky one, size 8. Yeah. So I've got a lot of Allen keys in the actual toolkit. None of them were the right size for this. Seems like it's going in fine. So we will stick a bit of lube. I like this stuff here. Wet lube for mountain bikes really, but it's bubble gum. Scented. Love it. Put it on everything. I'll even put it on the steel if I need to. Right, so we'll get this through, get it running, I'll oil it. We have the quick change tool post in both its parts. Pop the pistons out, slot it in. Squeeze the pistons back. Sit it up here. Tighten this sucker down, probably to find it won't tighten all the way. No, it's actually fine. Kinda. There we go. And they're fine and good. 
activating the way it's supposed to. No chatter wobble. Now we get to the good part. Hold on, we'll turn you around. Okay, now we get to add some of the little tool posts, which in theory should just slide straight down on here. Excellent. Now the boring bar is not going to work for me just now, so I'm actually going to have to use two tooling bars. So when this comes off of here, this one will go on to here, like so. Locked on good and proper. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, I actually thought the quick change tool post holder you could put a bit on either side and have four and it was just easy to turn and use, but yeah. After getting the lathe you soon see why that becomes apparent that's impossible. End up gouging your wrists out trying to reach over your work. Right. We're in, but it just doesn't Ah, oh, I see. These bits here, so it can go all the way down. Right, I like it. Now, let's get the carbide inserts out and see what we can do with them. Okay, so we have our tool holders. We have the little set nuts at the top backed out all the way. A couple of carbides in here, so I don't know. I can't use the boring bar at the minute in the proper bone bar holder, so... We'll be doing a 60 degree in one. And probably... the left hand turning one in the other. Right. So, oh, they fit snug as a bug in a rug. Now these are 12 mil, so I'm hoping everything works the way it's supposed to. I'll just snug these up. Should I end up interested? There's the number. This is the 60 degree. Uh, we'll go for this one. Don't know how far out or how far in to set them, but I can do all that once it's on the machine. Yeah, very simple, very straightforward. Just always make sure that you have your carbide tip at the same side the nut is and not down one of the sides. Right, so, we will head back over to the lathe. Now it should just be a simple case. Transfer it over. Bring it back. That's the bed pretty much equal, so we'll just undo the tool and slip it back a bit. I think you want the tip sticking out as least as possible. The least amount of chatter. Yeah, very easy to set up. Very cheap. It's under 30 bucks. Seems to be solid enough when you lock it down. Now, um, we will have to stick in a live set or something just to line up and make sure it's accurate. Okay, so now we need to bring over the whole slide and match it up. Ooh, that one's way high. Please don't tell me I got the wrong set of tools.
Now we maybe want to just bring it up a hair. Uh, actually seems fine. Right, so we actually better locking it down first. And yeah, that looks good to me. Don't know if you can see this, but if we Ooh, lovely jubbly. Right, so now I think we better get running and try it out. Okay, let's get this thing fired up and feed this sucker in. Not bad. Feed it in another little bit. Right, well, it's all right, I suppose. I've yet to get it in there properly, but we'll see. We'll get it shiny, back in a mole. It cost me not to get that on camera. I tried to take a cut that was too deep, and this thing came flying out. This is solid steel. It came, I only had about four mil of the teeth at the bottom here biting onto the edge. And I tried to take a cut too deep there, and it launched it out, smacked the bed of the lathe. Now, this is solid steel. Look at the dent in that. That's what happened when it hit the lathe bed. So anybody try to say these Chinese lathes are made of butter, you're full of crap. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm happy to see that, apart from a little bit of marring, there's no, and it's not really an important spot. I'll be more careful in future, and yeah, I only had the tiniest edge of this stuff holding on by the jaws, which was kind of stupid, but damn, should have got that on video. Spun around, hit stuff and come flying at me. But, yeah, just make sure you're wearing your safety specs, not that they're going to do much for something like this, but hey, let's get on with it. Right, I'm a deal, I'm no happy. I've spent nearly a thousand pound. And this is what I've done. I've managed to make a groove in here, a couple of grooves and a hole in there, and skin this up. And this is what it's doing already. Right. There's my speedo gauge, it's on zero. piece of crap machine starting to fall apart already and this is all the work I've done. <sighs> Rage mode is activating my friend. Right so I got done what I needed done on this it's fine for just now and the quick change tool post is actually quite a peach. Very very happy with that. Cheap Chinese 30 bucks and does the job perfectly. Now on to the running fault which should be another video by itself, but hey. So I fixed it. And the problem was the little speedo here, that these fins on this thing here runs through the middle. It's like the way a speedo would work, or a wheel sensor. Well, this chip part here was loose and hanging back. So I went straight to the source 
and instantly found an issue, so put it on, tightened it up, and bang, working straight away again. So, no need to contact Amadeo, no need to start screaming at people, but we're happy, it's fixed. I finished off that part there, not knowing any speed I was on, so not that it really mattered, but yeah, I turned my rage into happiness. So, again, quick change tool post from China, very, very cheap, does the job fine. No issues. So I don't even know if I'll be upgrading that for a steel set. Maybe if any issues appear, I will. So until then, I'll let you know if this turns out to be a heap of junk, but it's doing everything I wanted it to do. It's less of a pain than the other one. The standard one here. It was a pain. I noticed that when I cut a piece off an old spanner... It turned out to be the perfect size to get all the tools to sit on, so give or take a few millions. So yeah, if you're in the market to get a Chinese tool post, you've seen how it comes apart. You just undo the bit off the top, put a couple of nuts on, squeeze them together, take the bottom nut to take it off. And let's just stick it back together again with a big size 8 Allen key for the big bolt. Right, well, that's me. Now I can go in and be happy rather than be crying. Bye for now. So now we'll leave you with some turning. See that mess? That stuff is dodgy. Yep, let me get this out of here. We have a close look at it. Then you can be the judge of the 30 pound tool post. Where are we? Look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I was making a yo-yo till this happened. Got it. So there you go, guys. Quick change tool post from China. 30 bucks. Does the job. And in case anybody was wondering, no, my boring bar doesn't fit in the 3 8 hole because it's an 8mm and it's square. So maybe shave the corners off and try again. Right, bye for now.